In this video, I wanna share with you how you can format buttons and align them within Groove Pages. Now, if you don't already have your free GrooveFunnels account and all the amazing stuff within that that you get for free, I'll leave a link down in the description below. And if you go through that link, you'll also get all my cool bonuses too. Now, the alignment within Groove Pages can be a little bit tricky at times. So make sure to stick around to the end because I'll show you how you can actually align any element or multiple different elements in lots of different ways with a simple and easy trick. So let's jump into the GrooveFunnels builder and get started. First of all, we'll go to blocks and we'll go to wireframes and we'll get an empty container there. And what I wanna do is just um, make things a little bit more complex just so you can understand the, um, how, the different alignments. So we'll add in two different columns. And within that, the best way um, to align buttons is to add in a separate container within the container and you'll understand once you start playing around with it, it's just easier this way. Um, so what I'll do is I'll drag in another container inside the, um, the layout, the layout two by two inside the left hand side one. So as you can see there, there is another container inside that one and it just makes things easier. Um, and it's, I've played around a lot with the buttons and I just say, just take my word for it with that. Um, so what we want to do is we scroll down to elements and there's a few different buttons here. So we can go for the um, button. You can go for a button with an icon in it as well. We'll just go for the solid button and we want to drag it inside. Just make sure you put it in the right place. So inside that container. <clears throat> so as you can see there, if you look at the breadcrumbs, there's a few a couple of containers and you can keep adding containers within containers and to make things more, uh, if you really want to align things in different ways. So um, here's the button, we'll play around with the design a little bit first. So as you can see here, you've got different states. So you've got the standard state that it's in now, and then <clears throat> you've got the hover state. So if you click on that, um, this is what happens if you are in, uh, if you had a website and you moved over to the button and you hovered over it with your mouse, that is um, if you want to change the design for then. So say when you hover over it, you want it to change to a different color or something like that. And you've also got when it's active. So that's when someone's actually clicking on it. Um, and then focus is when it's been selected as well. Um, now I, I've tried playing around with the different states, but they're still a little bit buggy at the moment. Um, maybe by the time you're watching it, they're not, but we're not going to mess around with the states this time, but um, it's something to keep in mind. So again, make sure you're on expert mode as usual, and you can play around with the different text, the size of the text here. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, and you can, as usual, you can play around with all these different things. And what we'll do is we'll go into the background and we'll make it a different color, make it pop out a little bit more. Let's go for a, a green, why not? And um, then we can also mess around with the border. Now again, this is something to play around with. Um, as you can see, when we de when it's not selected, it's a very square, sorry, very rectangular button there with um, right angled corners. If we scroll down and we go back to border um, and we drag that across a bit, um, and now if you have a look at it, look at it, it looks a lot more button like. But this is again something to mess around with. You can see that the, the um, sides of the button there are. Um, more rounded. So we can also, um, what we'll do is we can go to configure and then this is where you actually edit the text with the button. So we'll do that click here and then you can link it to a different page within Groove Funnels, um, Groove Pages, a different block on that same page. So if you want, uh, or even a URL. So if you want to click them through to an affiliate link or something like that, or even to a pop-up, we'll get it into pop-ups later. So if you want to click, if you want them to click that and then it opens up a pop-up, you can do that too. And then it, once you've done that, click update and <clears throat> it will update the button with the new parameters. So we'll go back into design. And what I want to do is just increase the spacing just to show you, you can increase the spacing um, within the button there. So if you want to make it larger, to make the button a bit bigger. And what we'll do is um, make the, what we'll do is we'll make the um, container a lot bigger. Just to um, show you something here, we want to make the other container a little bit bigger. 
and this container a little bit bigger. This is all just to um, show the different um, functions within the layout. So if we go to the layout, we want to go to the layout within the container here. So this container here, and we go layout. Now here you can center the button here, but as you can see, it takes up the whole page. So we also want to center it there. Now what I want to do is show you some of the different layout functions as well. So if we duplicate this button, as you can see now, they're across from each other. If we go to the container, we go to layout, we go to vertical, now they change like that. We can also make them so there's space in between, but this is better highlighted if I just add in a third there and we'll make sure we get click back to container, go to layout, and we can, we can space them out like that. We can space them out with space in between. Um, and there's all, all different ways you can uh, space out these buttons, however you like. Um, and as I said, it's best to just play around with these different functions here um, for whatever design you're after. Now, if you'd like more of these tips and tricks, check out my Facebook group, Young Freelancers and Solopreneurs. I'll leave a link down in the description below as well. Um, it's a collaborative community of like-minded individuals where we just help each other out and share more helpful things like in this video. All right, so that's everything for this video. I hope it helped. Have a great day, have a great week, and I'll see you in another video.